Hey guys, Coop Ben here, BigBenches.com. Today I wanted to talk to you about a cue that can really change the game in your performance on the bench press. And that's going to be learning how to bench with your lats. And the cue I'm talking about is catching the bar with your back. All right, I don't know if you heard that one before. Uh, everyone responds differently to different cues. Learning how to bench with your lats is probably the hardest thing to do on the bench press. Um, it takes people a long time to really get the concept down. But once you do and you really feel the difference, uh, then it's going to completely change how you bench. You're going to feel a lot stronger. Um, you're going to come down a lot more stable. It's just finding that cue that helps click for you. All right, for me, um, when I think about catching that bar with the lats, uh, that's something that really helps me. So I'm going to kind of demonstrate it, kind of talk you through what I'm feeling over here on the bench. Uh, and then hopefully you can apply this to your training and it'll help you out as well. All right. So first step is just getting, you know, maximizing your position, maximizing your setup, taking your time. So, you know, we're going through all those things that you see in my other video, getting your tuck, pushing yourself back. I can really feel my neck elongate here because I get those little pops in the vertebrae. I'm really spacing everything out, getting your chest as high up as you can. Setting up in a good position is going to make it a lot easier to tap into your lats and it really helps when you shorten that stroke. All right, so what most people do, they don't even realize, but they're using all their arms. So taking the bar out, whole thing is controlled down with the arms. You know, a lot of tensions in my triceps. Uh, I'm not really feeling my back involved, even though I might think that I'm using my back. I'm really not. All right, I can flex my back, but it doesn't really use, uh, mean I'm using it properly. I'm not loading it on the eccentric. All right, so right here, a lot of arms, a lot of arms. Now, when I think about catching the bar with my back, the key here is pulling it into position. So you gotta stay out of your shoulders the entire time. If you get into your shoulders, bad news. So right off the bat, get a good handoff, pull it into position, let that bar sink you down. Catch right in the palms here, and then as you're coming down, catching it with my back. Now I really feel my back engage. If you're doing this properly, it should feel like there's no tension in your arms coming down. That control with the bar is fully in tune with your lats. When you press it, that's the only time your arms are getting action. All right, so that's the key there. When you're doing this properly, it's gonna feel like you totally took the arms out of the game, all right? When you're lowering it, now you're not fatiguing your arms. You're building a big platform to catch that weight and then you're tossing it up. The only time you're actually using your arms is on the press up. All right, so think about that cue next time you go into your training. Uh, something that can help you a lot is the bamboo bar. Now the bamboo bar, if you're benching with your arms with a bamboo bar, that thing's gonna shake all over on you. If you start to use your back, you're gonna be able to catch that bamboo bar. It's gonna stay nice and stable. All right, so that's a great training tool, something to use if you have one. But try that out next time. The cue is catching the bar with your lats. I'm Coach Ben. You know where to find me. You can meet me on the bench.